The International Maritime Organization, also known as IMO, celebrated the Day of the Seafarer on June the 25th, 2011 this year. It is an opportunity to renewed efforts to safeguard human rights of seafarers throughout the world and ensure that they are offered proper legal protection and support. This is the message from Deidre Fitzpatrick, Executive Director of Seafarers Rights International, also known as SRI. The organization dedicated to raising awareness of the rights of seafarers and improving their legal protection under national and international laws. On this important date, players in the maritime world have asked themselves to question how much do they care about the workers who transport over 90% of the goods we all rely on. When vessel abandonment is still happening and there is little or no progress towards the safety net for seafarers facing criminal charges, said Mr. Fitzpatrick. Now is the time to provide the resource to highlight seafarers' problems and to challenge their role and effectiveness of the law in protecting seafarers' rights. Australia's export earnings from the energy and mineral commodities in March quarter of 2011 was $40.3 billion, 10% lower than in December quarter of 2010, according to statistics released by the Australian Bureau of Agricultural and Resource Economics and Science, known as ABRS. ABRS Chief Commodity Analyst Jamie Penn said that the decrease in export earnings reflected a decline in production and export volumes for a number of commodities which were affected by adverse weather conditions. The fall in export earnings reflected lower export volumes for a number of commodities including met and thermal coal, copper, iron ore and pellets as well as crude oil and other refinery feedstock, Dr. Penn said. That's it from the maritime sector. We'll be back with more news making waves in other sectors as well. See you then.